Where can we find peace? Welcome to the Summit Study Hall. I'm Dre, and together we'll explore this very question today. Through seven verses of scripture, we'll try and find the most essential sources of peace. So let's start with our very first verse of the day and go through all seven, see where it takes us. Our first one is from 2 Thessalonians 3.16. Now may the Lord of peace himself give you his peace at all times and in every situation. The Lord be with you all. So our first answer of the day, where can we find peace? In God the Father. This really is the crux of our entire talk today. Without God himself, there exists no peace. Everything good and just flows from him, including that calming and serene feeling we know as peace. He is the source of all happiness, and when we search after him, he stretches out his heavenly arms and wants nothing more than to hold us near. When we search after him, we find more than just peace, but complete contentment, love, joy, and so many more things that our souls crave for, whether we acknowledge it or not. He is our better half. But how can we relate to something so grand as the idea of God? Where is that ethereal bridge that connects the created to the creator. This leads right into our second verse. It comes from John sixteen thirty three. I have told you all this so that you may have peace in me. Here on earth, you will have many trials and sorrows, but take heart because I have overcome the world. Our second answer, in God the Son. We relate to God, the Father, through God, our Savior, Jesus Christ. He became flesh so that we may know this heavenly bridge of sorts. To know that he felt what we feel. He wept and loved and even went so far as to die for us on the cross so that we may have everlasting life in him. His love for us is overflowing with peace. That's just waiting to be bestowed upon us. He's also saying to have peace in him in terms of trusting him that everything works together for our good. And that's actually something we'll explore a little later on in the talk. But our third verse, Romans 8, 6. So letting your sinful nature control your mind leads to death. But letting the spirit control your mind leads to life and peace. So our third answer in God, the Holy Spirit. He is the perfect guide that's been sent to lead us into eternal happiness and, of course, peace. When we know, when we feel deep within our hearts that we're on the right path, we can't help but have an abundance of peace. This directly relates to our souls being at rest and assured that we're following the Holy Spirit into our divine destinies. He interprets these spiritually encrypted messages for us and relays the concepts in ways that only our individual hearts can decipher. So now that we've explored how peace comes from God in all of his glory, where else can we find peace in this earthly realm? Let's look at the next verse for some insight. It comes from Colossians 3.15. And let the peace that comes from Christ rule in your hearts. 
For as members of one body, you are called to live in peace and always be thankful. So our next answer, in the overall church. This brings to mind the importance of fellowship with one another and how essential being part of the greater church truly is. We are the living, breathing representatives for Christ and his teachings, so should always strive to act accordingly. Of course, nobody's perfect, and we all have things which we could improve upon, but to know that Jesus already paid the price of sin off on our accounts itself gives us the peace we need to continue on our paths toward eternal happiness. Another aspect of finding peace within the church is when we're able to help someone else out on their own journey. Helping another person acquire peace is always rewarded back to us in greater ways. To get something, we often need to give it away, and peace is no exception. Next, we're actually going to read two verses, which are both relevant to our following answer. The first one comes from Isaiah 26, 3. It says, You will keep in perfect peace all who trust in you, all whose thoughts are fixed on you. Okay, the second verse comes from Romans fifteen thirteen. It says, I pray that God, the source of hope, will fill you completely with joy and peace because you trust in him. Then you will overflow with confident hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. So how do those two verses inform our next answer? In trusting God to do what's best for us. When we trust God that everything which happens is part of a bigger, more elaborate plan, we can rest assured that it's all for our greater good. This itself grants us unmeasurable peace as it erases away the what-ifs of life, which so often come around. The verse also says that God will fill us with joy alongside peace, which really do go hand in hand. When we experience that inner peace, that everything's been designed down to the most minute detail, we can live in joy knowing that we've been placed in the perfect race for us individually. Lastly, our verse comes from Judges 18.6. It simply says, Go in peace, the priest replied, for the Lord is watching over your journey. So our last answer in the confidence that God is in control. This verse so perfectly states that no matter what comes along our way in life, God is watching over us. It complements our previous point that we all have such important and vital roles to fulfill in this grand picture. But it also lets us know that God is forever in control of our fates and destinies. What better way to have peace than that? Finally, it teaches us to live in peace no matter what. That regardless of the outer situation or problem, we should keep our inner sanctuary filled with the peace offered by our faith and by trusting in God, as we would mentioned before. So let's recap. Where can we find peace? In God the Father. In God the Son. In God the Holy Spirit. In the overall church. 
in trusting God to do what's best for us and in the confidence that God is in control. And with that, I just want to again thank you for listening and coming along on this little journey we've embarked on together. Until next time, stay safe, happy, and healthy. Love you.